Guys, it is officially my one month post explant. Little boobies, little booby check. I honestly couldn't be happier. It's it's such a weird thing to say because I don't think I'd be sitting in this position right now. But I can't believe it's even been a month. I feel like I was so worried about this recovery process, and it's honestly been so good. So I'm four weeks. Now is when I feel like the recovery is really gonna start like picking up because for the first like three to four weeks, you really still can't do anything. But now I can get back really into the gym and detox and I'm just, I'm honestly just so happy. Like anything that I wear, I can't believe that I was so. Shit, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. I ordered food. What'd you get? Coffee bean. I saw the little leaf. I was like, he got coffee bean. Aww. No, it's not for you. It's not for you. You always, you always think that everything is for you. Why is it always me? <laughs> Why do you stick your tongue down my throat? Oh my. He said, I want to feel dumb. Okay. okay, I know. You love me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> ah! Ryan! What? You just showed my nipple. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I wanted to see. <laughs> let me see him. Let me see him. Actually, because, like, you don't ever let me see him without bandages and all that. Even, like, look at my scars. Oh my god. They look good, right? This is actually the first time I'm seeing them, like, with no bandages, nothing. Like, fully. On, you can on touch her scars. Them, but just be, like, I can touch them? Yeah, but just be, like, Gentle. Is it gonna hurt? No, it's not gonna hurt. I wasn't able to touch your boobs for a year. So I know, like, they're I'm still like numb like... underneath, so don't like touch underneath, but on the sides. Yeah, like right there, I can I can feel it. You see how they feel like my my boobs? They feel like, Ooh. yeah. They feel like real like m muscle and. Yeah, like tissue, like the real yeah, breast tissue, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. How do the scars feel? They feel like, they feel good. They look good. They yeah. look clean. They look thin, yeah. Yes, they like look they're thin. gonna they're gonna heal really good. Like I'm so I'm so happy. I feel I like, feel like I'm looking at a goddess, like a statue. Do you think that they fit me better? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just yeah. like with like I love them for you so much better. Wow, I'm so okay. Happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you. What's, What's going, going on, my friend? Welcome back to your channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, turn on post notifications, and enjoy the family. family. Mm. So I'm really happy about doing this video because I feel like I was trying to see how I was gonna be feeling over the past like couple weeks, like with my symptoms and everything. I told you guys I was gonna do a one month post op. I've been really excited for this video too because, like I just said, like this was the first time I, I didn't even know I was gonna be able to see them, but this is the first time that I am was able to look at them without like the bandages and f honestly feel them. That was my first time feeling them. Yeah. That was my first time feeling your natural boobs in over a year and a half. Think about that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to just like lay all over you. No! And be able to pick you up and- I know. And just be like me, because I remember like before, I was just one of those people that I was just like crazy. Yeah. And, and I I'm, you know how like I that. am too. Like I'm always just like y'all know. Uh -huh. I'm always all over top of her. And, it's and like, he's like rough with me, and I could never be like I was. A, we were always yeah, like, like that. I love tossing her around and yeah. <laughs> and I just could never be like that with my boobs because it just it yeah. hurt. It felt weird. The happiness and is definitely strong. So have, that's have you definitely seen it, like a difference. Yeah. Yeah, even in the past month, just like with everything too, it's not even just about happiness, about your, your like drive. Yeah. It's in 110 miles an hour, you know, before it was in like 65, maybe with some rust on it. <laughs> <laughs> with the, add the rust. 
I feel like this was the best decision of my life. I felt like my life before was just going down a path of being very unhealthy and nothing that I ever imagined my life to be because like me and Ryan always talk about, we live a healthy lifestyle. To be doing everything to try and keep myself healthy, it never felt like that. It never felt like I was healthy. My body genuinely feels awake and it feels like it's healing. Yeah. Okay. Don't well. cry. <laughs> I see it in you. Don't cry. <laughs> You're back. I know I am back. Like, how do you feel? I want to say that I want to say like 95% of my symptoms are gone. Like, I don't have that like chronic fatigue that like I struggled with every single day. I don't get those headaches anymore, especially the migraines. The migraines are so bad. Hallelujah. Oh my god, it was so bad. Honestly, I want to say that the only two symptoms that I still kind of feel is my light sensitivity and my brain fog. To be honest, the two things that I struggled with the most was the inflammation and the light sensitivity. You know, it's going to take a little bit for my body to detox and for all these toxins to leave my body. And I feel like my body's still going through the inflammation process and getting all of that out of my body and then obviously the light sensitivity. I want to say it is getting a lot better because there are some days where I don't notice that at all and then some days it's definitely still there. I've actually started taking some vitamins and some supplements to help, you know, like speed up the process, speed up the recovery and just see if I can get all the symptoms to go away faster. Make sure you're following my Instagram because I'll be talking about all like vitamins and supplements and stuff. One thing also that I feel like I still deal with a little bit is brain fog. I feel like at times is when like, like I feel really clear but other times I'm still like a little bit foggy and I like I said I just think that's another thing that has to do with like toxins. You can't help it. Ha <laughs> ha. You can't help it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you just got hair all over me, dude. Yeah. You couldn't help it. Look at him. <laughs> I just pray and I have a lot of faith that everything will heal. And I'm already so happy. I have this fire under me right now. Like, I just feel so, so motivated and just happy that I'm in a place where I feel good enough to even start working hard again, like in the gym and just motivation for life, honestly. Before we get to y'all's questions and stuff, I got some questions to ask you. Okay. That I'm sure they're gonna wanna know too. Okay. How do you feel with your boobs, confidence wise? I am honestly really happy. I feel really? like more confident. Which is weird because obviously when I had my boobs, it was like a, a satisfaction for a few hours if I'd wear something that was like really flattering. But for the rest of my body, it wasn't like it was doing me justice. You know, it was hurting me more than it was like right. helping yeah. me mentally with the way I look. And now I look at my small boobs and I'm like, why was I so hard on myself? Young me and I'm like, like it gets me like, upset to like think about how hard i was on myself but that's okay you back now yeah you know? but it you definitely makes me appreciate who i really am all i want to do is embrace it and show so many girls how amazing it is to embrace if you have small boobs yeah i love that because that's this is like the girl i started dating mm -hmm. you know mm. no fakies <laughs> Okay, what about the scars? So like, how's that? How are you gonna get them to go away? They're, they're doing so good. And honestly, they are doing so good. So I just wanted to ask. Yeah, because like- Cause I know, I feel like that's like the biggest thing with all of this now is yeah. having that on you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna show you guys because honestly they're healing absolutely amazing i've been taking like really good care of them they had me ha use tape on them after a week i could take the tape off but i i've been keeping it on for the past like three weeks he did an amazing job keeping them so thin and i feel like that's also another reason this is them they're so thin like i don't know if you can see that but they're amazingly thin 
like and they're healing just so good i'm so happy because it's not like i have enough boob that over time it'll fold over you know my ne my boobs never did that because i have like like very little so you'll always be able to like see that so now that i'm basically back in the gym it's four weeks so i told myself at four weeks like i'm really she's actually it hard. starting today yeah today's her first day actually yeah so i am like i've just been dreaming of this day because i'm just ready to be able to work out and have the energy and just really get the body that i want and so if you guys want to see like a 30 day like transformation type thing i want to see it shit <laughs> i'm i'm so excited i'm ready to see it and i'm about to do it <laughs> but give this video to 8,000 likes if you want to see that because i'm starting and i have a lot of faith that i'm, I'm about to be like that this bitch year, and even more with my small titties <laughs> the reason we say to get it to the likes too is for like almost like a motivation for her to like keep up with like filming it and yeah that's why we say that so yeah that, because like i want you guys y'all motivate us you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah for us to see that y'all want it mm -hmm. it motivates us and yeah, i want to see it so and i'll keep up with all my workouts too like if there's a day that i feel like shit like i'll just i'll tell you guys you know i want to be transparent about everything i also want to get my body back right i want to be me i want to feel sexy because honestly i didn't know if i was gonna feel sexy with my small boobs and i definitely do i feel like it all just it's a mental thing and <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be asking some of the questions that you guys asked her, like we always do. Why did you get implants if you was just going to get them removed? Literally, it feels like months later. <laughs> oh, because I just, like, asked for them to make me sick. And I hate <laughs> when people ask that, like, oh, if you're going to remove them anyway, but, like, you think that I wanted to spend the money to get them in just to get them removed? Like, yeah, damn, is it your wallet that's getting the yeah. hit tape? No. Like, what are you so <laughs> mad about? Anyways, but... <laughs> you did get them out quick, but like... Yeah, but I, it, I can't help it. Yeah. Like, I was I was getting sick, so... Yeah, we kind of made wasn't... like a whole document series on that yeah so if, if you're new here out, and y'all could check that out yeah how are you mentally are you in a good place yes i am in a good place as y'all can tell she happy as hell <laughs> but she also looking fine as hell yeah yeah she go ahead she got them small titties she got them <laughs> people are i didn't want to say nothing stupid what you can say it it's true i think it hurt my feelings no I'm good <laughs> are you sore at all yeah i so my incisions are still sore i'm starting to do like massage and stuff with like an oil and it just it does feel sore it almost feels like i worked chest and i'm a little bit sore like the next day the pain overall okay. really has never been that bad for the recovery process <laughs> what what is my opinion Oh, what is your opinion? To be honest, I don't even feel like my opinion matters. You know? Because it's all about what you feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, of course, I'm your husband. Yeah. But, like, it's your body. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're just supportive. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm just, definitely I'm just been supportive. supportive. So, it's like, I started dating her when she had small titties. And then, you know, she went last year and got them done and i wasn't able to use them like you know what i'm saying like yeah. i wasn't even able to like really get to like get shit. To know them. yeah i wasn't even like you no know, i had a lot of money sitting right there and it's like i couldn't even play with my money you know what i'm saying <laughs> i love them seeing them just now like i haven't even had time to process like because i just got to see them like without all the bandages and shit so it's yeah, like I, lo I love them though yeah. i love them i love when i look at you you look mm -hmm confident you look happy you look glowy like you me. look yes that's on yeah so i i Dude. love it that's my opinion okay what about the scars so over time like as i heal i'll probably end up doing what i can with oil and everything and like some um like scar cream and then over more long period of time i'll probably end up doing some like laser treatments maybe 
um, just depending on how they heal. Because if they heal and you can barely see them, I won't need to, like, do yeah. much other than, like, some scar creams maybe. But, yeah, that's kind of, like, the plan. Does breast implant illness happen to every woman that gets their breast augmentation done? So, I don't, I want to say that not every single woman experiences hard symptoms. Some women have them for, I know women that have had them for 14, 15, 16 years and they don't feel anything from them, but that doesn't mean that they're not toxic. That doesn't mean that you know you're still putting a foreign object in your body and your body is in one way or the other gonna be rejecting it or attacking it and that's just what the body does yeah and some of the stories we heard too with like some of the women having it in for so long like 10 to 15 years and yeah they get them out because they just need new ones and then they got mold in them yeah like so it's, that that's what happens and they don't like, even know so it's it's and, something that you can't tell mm -hmm. until you get them done i feel yeah. like yeah and like me, I Which just happen sucks, to get really sick, but... but other women end up like getting them checked out. Their mold test is extremely bad. And obviously mold is so bad to be having in your body. So these implants are just not made for our body. And no matter what anybody says, as pretty as they are, they're really just not safe. Yeah. That all of these surgeons will come out and say, but yeah. Are you more confident now, or are you were you more confident with boobs? Oh, I feel like I'm working to be more confident without the implants. Right now, I haven't been working out, but the implants, like I said, it was a satisfaction thing. It was like I'd wear something that would make me look at myself and feel confident for a few hours or whatever the case was. But overall, it wasn't making me like, oh shit, like carrying that energy all the time. But now I feel like I will be. <laughs> yeah. Do your nipples look the same after getting them removed? Yeah, so my- They're smaller. They're smaller. Yeah. Because before, like With I had the same- it like blows it up kind of, right? right? It kind yeah. of like expanded them a little you bit. Had a big old tree. stupid but yeah like they <laughs> you're so dumb well i did these same shit that come to my head we know <laughs> they expanded like a little bit and then they like shrank they like went back to what they were before what are your thoughts on implants now a year and a half ago you were saying a completely different thing yeah. completely opposite yeah i mean obviously and obviously that changes when you go through the experience yeah and when you do actual research and you're not just thinking in my head oh i want implants now when i sit here and i think what implants are made of the research that i've done the experience that i've went through so many women that i've talked to it's like obviously i look at implants completely different because i know what they are it's not just like a spur of the moment oh my god i want boobs like this is gonna make me feel xyz i feel bad when i see girls getting these implants i would never recommend to anybody getting implants ever again so a girl said that she's getting hers out next month oh really i'm happy for you were they deformed at all so when i got my implants removed i actually did a video on this talking about like the deformity of my breast implants so my body was attacking it so much and it was inflamed so much that it was actually making them ripple because the heat coming off my body was like m almost like melting them in a way they were definitely a little bit deformed i remember having them in me and being able to feel the rippliness of the implants okay these last ones are really good okay has your boob size after surgery changed? They actually like seem a little bit fuller or it could just be me like realizing that, oh shit, like, okay, like I do still have like a little bit of cleavage. I was a double A before and I'm definitely a double A now. I just don't have nothing to support. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna be stealing my shirts and all my clothes again. Like I already do. Yeah. And I have his boxers on too. <laughs> Do you accept yourself better? Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like, like I said, it was just like a wake up. 
and I couldn't accept myself more than I do right now. I feel like it's it's like one of the most like rewarding feelings of like going through what I went through and then now being able to be happy with myself because for so long like I just wasn't I just wasn't happy. Yeah. We're gonna end on that one. Okay. We are gonna go ahead and close out today's video right here. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And I did want to say really fast, thank you guys so much for all the love and encouragement and just being there for me through all of this, like even before I got them removed. I know that a lot of you saw me struggling and even though if it didn't feel like you guys weren't doing anything like everything that reading the comments were just keeping me going thank you guys for being seriously family because i really needed all of you and you guys were definitely there for me yeah we love you guys so much but if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see my 30 day transformation get in here keo family oh, family, family. Get this video to 8,000 likes and comment down below the cherries because the small boobies are back. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next video. Mark, mark out. Peace. Say bye. Peace. Say, Say bye. bye. Say bye. Kiss. Oh, kiss that. Kiss, kiss the mark now. Kiss. Peace. Peace.